Hey everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to install WordPress onto our website. Now, this isn't going to be the website that we'll be using in my course. However, the process is the same for any website. So, what we'll want to do first is get to our hostgator.com your account info email. And once we go within that email, we'll see the your control panel link. And we'll have to click that link and sign in with the username and password that they have made for us. Now, I will say, after you do that, you may want to reset the password or change it to something else like I have done. Now, once this page is loaded, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to where it says Quick Install. Now, if you purchased a domain name with a different provider, but you're using HostGator, you will have to go through the add-on domain names and add that in there first. But for this lecture, since we've done this through HostGator and registered the domain name with HostGator, we can just go right into the quick install section here within the software and services area. So we'll, quick, we'll click that link. And now, once we get to this page, we'll go to WordPress on the left side. And we'll go to install WordPress within the free install WordPress for free area. Now we're going to populate this area right here with our information that we want. But first, before we do anything like that, we're going to have to make sure we have the right domain name selected. I have many domain names. Hopefully you just have one here on your list to add. And I'm actually going to add it for viewyoursitedesign.com and this will be your blog title we can change that at a later point and your email we can also change for the administrator email once we're logged in but this the admin username we cannot change or you should not try to change you can add on additional users at a later time if you want other people to have access to the back end of the site but for this case we want to keep this admin username as something we're easily going to be able to remember after that, we're going to click Install WordPress, and we can X out of this pop-up. And once it's done running our installation, we'll click on where it says View Details. As you can see, it says your installation is complete. Click here to view your notifications. We'll click View Credentials right here. And we're going to need to copy and paste this information into another document. Now, after we do that, we should save that information because we're going to need this password to log in to the WordPress dashboard. And it may take a while for your websites to be activated. It could be a few hours. So I recommend that you definitely save this information because there's no way you're going to be able to remember that password for a few hours. And in the next lecture, we'll use that information to sign in to our WordPress website. If you have any questions about this process, please definitely feel free to reach out to me within the support section of Udemy. Thanks.